will be Pow Pow Purple from, you guessed it, Mad Marcus. Pow Pow Purple indeed. All right, I've got this one here. This to be one of my favorite names because it's funny. This is Brazen Hussy from Mad Micahs. It is a very bright color. It is brazen, that's for sure. And last but absolutely not least, we've got to have a pink. So that's going in this final container here. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to order some more of this bad boy soon. And this one is Flirt by Mad Micahs. Alright, now to each one of these I am going to add my fragrance oil. I'm just going to kind of add a little bit to each container. Got our brazen pussy over here. Bloop, bloop. All right, now here's where we're gonna try some experiments today. I'm gonna set these off to the side. This is the mold that I am going to use. I had the idea that I am going to take this. It has been washed and sterilized and everything, and then I cut this in half. And it's just a top of a Coke bottle of some sort, and it kind of goes down to this little funnel here. So what I'm wanting to do is we will find out if I've got this pushed down to the bottom here, and I pour each color on top of each other in here, and then... If this gets to the top, I'm just going to raise it up slightly and then continue to add the colors. What it will do. So, let's find out. I'm going to mix up my colors and we'll get to pouring. So. Just I don't want to over mix them since I need to have this rather fluid to try this here experiment. side and let's see let's start with some hussy what do you think and it's starting to leak out but I feel like as the fragrance oils gets a little as the batter gets a little thicker that it will um start to settle a little bit. No! That didn't happen. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Doing things like this makes me nervous because I'm always like, what if I run out of time? What if I run out of time? Okay, back with our hussy. I'm going to stop saying that now. I'm just going to keep going around. There, see, I think it's finally kind of gotten to where it's just going to stay put. My goal is to try to pour it in the center so that way if it, when it comes out, it'll kind of 
I want to see if it makes like rings, like lines and stuff. We'll see. <laughs> I've used the other end before where it's like you um, have the bottom and it's kind of divided into the four thing and it kind of has these little funnel looking areas and I thought I am going to pour it over the top and it did a really cool design but when I got this bottle I didn't realize how snug it fit against the sides and it won't work um, because then any batter that hit the sides would just spill over the edge and we don't want that so now all right let's try let's see what happens okay okay so the last one I did was that. So I think I go back around here to the blue. See my batter's starting to get thick. <laughs> Move quickly. And do 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 do. do. It is doing something cool. I don't know what it's doing exactly, but I'm going to say I like it. Let's say we like it. All right, I'm going to start trying to uh, think that's all I'm going to get out of there without raising it again. Okay, and we're going to learn together. Oops, I think I went two pinks in a row. Well, I separated with the blue, so we're going backwards now. I don't know if any of y'all have been watching Wednesday on... Is it Netflix? I believe it's Netflix. But we just finished season one last night, and I love it. That kind of thing is completely up to my speed. She is my spirit animal. Come on. We'll see what is going to happen. I'm still not sure. Okay, I think that I just do green. I think, well, let's see. I think what I need to do now is get it out because it's starting to get really thick. We don't want that. Traitorous. I barely blended you. I'm gonna act like this. Let's do this. When at first you don't succeed, it change the plan. I have no doubt that it's going to look pretty. It's just not doing what I wanted to do with it. And that's most unfortunate. This is the last of the green. Okay. That's why it's an experiment. At the end of the day, it will smell delicious and it will be very colorful. So if it doesn't work out the way I kind of envisioned, that's perfectly fine. Oh, 
like all the bright colors. I get to try this one with different designs because I end up making it quite a lot because uh, I can't seem to keep this one. Everybody really likes it. You'd think that the biggest uh, group that would like it would be like little kids, but it turns out it's usually 20 some odd year old, like college age women and I'm there for that. Hold on to that childhood as long as you can. Enjoy the little things. There we go. <laughs> what you're hearing there is Jeffy's desperation for trying to get all this in here la, 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 la. okay let's see here do some of the pink Almost done. I think we are going to reach a point here where it's just going to be. Yeah, I've probably got. <laughs> I amuse myself. I get these ideas and it's like. But Jeffy, how will you execute it? Be like, let's see. We gonna learn today. Let's try to. There we go. Move on down. Get out of my funnel. However this comes out, we're going to say, yes, that's exactly what I meant to do. That's the idea. Let's see how big of a mess I can make as well. used a, one of my favorite YouTubers uh, little catchphrase there. Something about scraping. I won't say it because that's her thing. But it's what I think every time I make soap is the thing that she does with the scraping. <laughs> we'll call this one uh, they killed the cereal for real, because it's definitely going to be interesting. I will texture the top, put some glitter on it and stuff. Loud noise. It will be pretty. And it'll be colorful inside. There we go. I don't want it to get too mottled, but I'm trying to get it as smoothed out as I can since I had to make a big mess. I try not to be sloppy, but there was a lot going on right there. Let me wipe my hands off. And let me grab a texturing tool. Let's see what we can do here. What can we do to make this pretty? Ooh. Let's give this a... It's not as colorful as I'd like it to be on top. What can we add? Let's add some... And add some glitter. I'm gonna grab some glitter. What can glitter we gonna add? Ooh. This one's called cake. We're gonna add some cake. Get 
and then we will swirl it. See, when all else fails, add glitter. Pro tip. <laughs> Less than pro tip. Ah! Okay. Now I'm afraid to swirl it. What does it look like? Now that I've got the glitter on it, I think I'm going to leave it alone. We have decided. So let it be written. So let it be done. Okay. So <laughs> this experiment has come to its conclusion. We are going to let this set overnight for 24 hours. And then we will come back tomorrow and find out together what this looks like inside. Alrighty. So I will see you soon. All right, everybody, we are back. It is the next day. Actually, it's the day after that, but I didn't get a chance yesterday to get in here, and it made me very sad. So we are going to take this uh, Fruit Loops slash Serial Killer soap out of the mold and get it cut up today. So let's see what we got inside. Mm. We are still having unseasonably warm weather here, and at this point, it's kind of like, what's going to happen? When are we going to get hit with the, uh, you know, the actual winter? And you just never know here. It may pass completely, and we never see any any winter at all. But I'm going to guess that around. First week of February, we're going to regret all of this nice weather we're having right now. But I do plan to enjoy it. It is very sunny outside today, so I'm wanting to get out and take the dogs for a walk. That is our big plan for the day. All right, let's get into that first good bar. My favorite noise. Tink. And what do we got? It is very swirly, so the pattern that I was kind of going for was not going to happen, but it smells like Fruit Loops, and it's still really, really pretty and very colorful, and so I am overall still very happy with it. It doesn't appear like it's discoloring at all, so I guess I added the right amount of titanium dioxide in order to keep prevent that from happening. So, next cut, and... Oh yeah, it looks so pretty inside. You're very pretty. Smell, you can't smell. <clears throat> I don't know why, but this is like everybody loves this fragrance. I mean, I do too, and I can see why because it smells like Fruit Loops. But it's just uh, such an unusual favorite. You have somebody who's you now picking out what would seem like more mature scents, and then. They find this one and they're like, oh, that, yeah, absolutely that. <laughs> I want to smell like I'm six. Mm. They are so very pretty. That orange, the, uh, the br br brazen hussy, it is very bright. But I think it like totally pulls the other colors together and it gives it just a little bit of a little zhuzh. Oh, yeah, that one's very vivid. I love it. And of course, a little sparkle on top never hurts. I love it. Might not have had the result that I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was really just kind of seeing like, oh, I wonder what this will do. And apparently uh, nothing, but it does make pretty, pretty swirls. But we can do that without involving the... Uh, the funnel so we'll just do this all by ourselves next time no funnel necessary my youngest isaac will be very excited when these are ready because it is his favorite and anything that will encourage a 13 year old boy to bathe is all right with me so that's always good Mm -hmm. 
Mm, the more I cut it, the more it smells like Fruit Loops in here, and I love it. I'm totally here for that. I should put some of this in the kitchen as a hand scrub, just so that it smells like Fruit Loops in my kitchen all the time. But I generally like to stick with citrus scents in there, and so I have a lemon sugar lemon pound cake I think is the name of it and that's what I usually keep in the kitchen because it's quite amazing and it's, I'm very fond of that all right last one I'm very happy with how these turned out as well it may not have been what I kind of envisioned, but you really can't argue with pretty swirls and uh, Fruit Loops. So I'm going to set these aside, let them cure a little bit, and I will get everything all beveled and cleaned up. And they will be available the second week of February on my website. Um, if you like scent, sweet scents like cereal scents and things like that, um, what are some of your favorites? Let me know. And I'll see if I can't find a fragrance for it. Maybe we'll make that one day on the channel. That will be fun. Until then, drink water and try to make the most of whatever kind of day you're having today. Until next time, bye.